Thank you so much for being here today, guys. I hope you guys are all doing really well. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. On my channel, I have a ton of journaling videos, anywhere from travel journals, memory journals, daily journals, of course, my favorite passport journals. And I hope to inspire you guys to just keep your memories in a book or a journal. And I just hope to give you guys some ideas as well. I know I struggled for a very long time before I found my style and I just hope I can give back a little bit Please hit subscribe, it will really help my channel out. And of course, I will make a brand new video for you guys every single week. I love journaling and I love sharing what I'm doing with you guys. As you guys know, I love to create my own journals. I love making stuff and including stickers. I love making my own stickers and my own journals. And this is one of my handmade recycled journals that I'm using as a daily journal. I use my old scrapbooking paper, some scrap paper. I use some old vellum that I handmade that I didn't really like. And then I added in just scraps and envelopes that I had lying around. And then I, of course, I added some copy paper and also some grid paper um, just to make it so I had some blank pages as well and I love using these kind of journals. I stitched this one together. I almost always stitch them now. I used to staple them, but they didn't last as well or as long, so I wanted to switch it up and I'm so happy I found out how to stitch them properly and now they are not falling apart at all. I never have to worry about how much paint or water I put in them and I just love using these. They are also available on my shop if you wanna take a look. I'll leave the link down below. For this journal entry, I wanted to remember some of the things that happened when we came to Canada. We came in the back of a white truck and all I remember is going through tunnels, even though we didn't go through tunnels and it was just the night and days mixing. So it felt like it was a tunnel because I would wake up to being in the dark and then I would wake up again, it was daylight. So I remember being a kid just thinking, why are we driving through tunnels? <laughs> it was very strange. Um, so we just passed our anniversary date of being in Canada. So I just wanted to put some photos and some memories together and do a little bit of journaling about it. And so I'm of course gonna use a ton of my acrylic paint to color all the pages. I love bright colors and just kind of making it more of my style, of course, like normal, and then just doing a whole bunch of journaling on top of it. And here I'm just using a ballpoint pen to write over the acrylic paint. Ballpoint pens work so well over acrylic paint. And then I'm going to print my own photos on a 4x6 photo. I just made a grid with some photos that I remember. I have a photo of a map that, of the way that we came to Canada. And then the truck that I remember being in when we came here. I don't know if it's the same truck, but that's what I remember. So it's going to work out just fine. I kind of wanted to do a little tip in so I save all my packaging especially if it's clear it's perfect for journaling and that way I don't have to buy acetate or anything I just recycle as much as possible and it's always better to use what you have and then here I'm just going to cut it up really straight and really nice and then try to make a tip in with the garbage essentially <laughs> that I saved and they're so perfect they're super lightweight and very thin so they don't really add much depth or like bulkiness to your journals so I really recommend recycling if you can and it's always better to use what you have in my opinion. I'm just going to use my regular tape to make a little tip in there. There's a bunch of my Dollarama stickers that I love and I ran out of the E's almost on every single uh, sticker pack I have so I'm just going to cut out the edging around it and Oh, it was so hard to get that to look normal. <laughs> um, I had to cut it out a lot and edit it so that it doesn't look like it took so long. So yeah. And then for the last page, I'm just going to use some different colors here. I love using yellows and blues and green. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. And the back of that one page is actually an envelope, which I love the patterns on the back of envelopes. And I never waste any of my paints. I always add a scrap piece of paper and then I put the rest of the paint that's left over on that paper. And then I use them in my journals later. And then just going to do some stamping here. I didn't like that pinata stamp very much on the pattern. So I'm going to try to cover up, cover it up a little bit and with the posty note. And then that's one of my own stickers that I made. I love those stickers so much. And then um, I'm just going to stick on, stick down some more of my posty notes, which I really like. I love the color of those and then I'm gonna border all the photos with some white copy paper which is also recycled you can see it's one of my printouts of my ink levels and my <laughs> printing levels and then 
I'm going to make that little map another little tip in. I'm going to try to find, I wanted to add a photo of my parents when we first came here, but I haven't found one. Um, like I have one, there is one in the family that has one of us when we were like right like a few days in or a few months in so I wanted to try to find that photo so I'm going to add that in after once I find it and then just a little bit of journaling which I really love that look it looks so nice and then here's a flip through of all the pages and then there's actually the vellum that I handmade on the right there and then um so happy with these pages I love these memories and I can't wait to flip through this one once it's done as well. I hope I inspired you a little bit. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.